Jacob Markstrom has been a star for the Calgary Flames in each of the last two wins on home ice. Rocking a new black setup today in practice. Likely a preview of the reverse retro kit, Blasty, which we will see for the first time on February the 6th. Hello and welcome back to the Scotiabank Saddledome. Calgary Flames staring at a five-day break in between games, the longest stretch of the season, and obviously looking to take full advantage of the opportunity to get in some practice time, which will be hard to find as this season continues to roll along. In terms of practice today, well, no Dylan Dubé or Matthew Kachuk. For Kachuk, it was a maintenance day. Head coach Jeff Ward said, hoping nothing serious on Dubé, but he's out day-to-day -day with a lower body injury. Let's talk for a minute about the start for the Calgary Flames to this season. Of course, five of a possible six points, but the offense has been off to a really good start. Three goals or more in each of the first three games. And it's maybe the spread of the offense that has been the most impressive part to this point. 12 players with a point, including nine forwards. You've got eight different goal scorers to start the season so far, at least uh, with one goal or more, and including some of your star players up front. Matthew Gachuk, Sean Monahan, Johnny Gaudreau, Elias Lindholm. They've all found the score sheet, and that helps the confidence of everybody up front to start the year. Yeah, I mean, it, I think we got a deep team this year, and I mean, there's a lot of guys who can put the puck in the back of the net, so it uh, it's nice to see a lot of guys get on the board early, and uh, I mean, that gives you confidence. But uh, we got uh, we got it, like I said, we got a deep lineup, and uh, I mean, we got a lineup where where everybody's on the same page and wants to win, so it, uh, that goes a long way. It gets you going. Um, you get uh, get on the board somehow. Uh, boys get excited if they find a way, and then. Uh, Obviously, with your line, you just I find when you get a goal or something, you just connect a little more. Boys are they want to get another one. Um, we never let off the gas, I don't think. And you know, like I said before, each line I think uh, contributed to that win, and uh, uh, it's it's a good feeling and it's it's good to see. We just gotta keep doing that every game. You know, these guys really enjoy playing together. They they enjoy being around each other. I think that helps feed to the confidence. Uh, you know, they really are doing a great job this year challenging each other. Um, and so when you get, you know, as, as, when you get some balanced scoring like we have early, um, you know, it just, it just makes everybody believe a little bit easier. Um, and I think the other thing is, is that, you know, we're starting to see that, you know, we're playing the game the right way more consistently um, than in some previous years, um, in, some, in some previous periods of time. So. And we're getting a little, a little bit rewarded for that too. So I think it reinforces, you know, that aspect of it. So there's a lot of good things that, you know, this this leads into. But by no stretch of the imagination are we reading more into it than we need to. I mean, we haven't done anything yet. We played three hockey games, so it's a good start for us. But um, you know, these games are all parked, and you know, right now we we have to be focused on you know what's going to lie ahead this weekend and prepare for that, and then we'll go from there. So a few days in between games, and the Flames hope that they can get some players, i.e. Kachuk and Dubé, some rest and get them right back up to speed as soon as possible. Uh, practice once again right back here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, 11 o'clock, and then the next game action comes your way Sunday afternoon, the first of two games against the Toronto Maple Leafs.